how hard is that to come back from? You big plays early. It is. It's, it's been devastating us the last two weeks. You know, gave up six big plays, 35 points, and then you know you go back to back consecutive three and outs, and you blink again. The next thing you know, the score's uh, 20 to nothing. So uh, I think we kept fighting. I think we were resilient, but you dig a hole against the national champs. It's, Game up feel bad. You mentioned it is the last two weeks have been the big plays. Just how concerning is that? And what are you seeing that's kind of trending these last two weeks to make that happen? Discipline, eyes. You know, guys aren't seeing their keys, the discipline. Last week, you know, last week it was a mixture of both. It was uh, execution, it was eyes, it was uh, a couple times it was schemes. This time, this time the schemes are fine. Just. You lose eye discipline. You're in man-to-man -man coverage. You got to keep your eyes on your man. Then he ran the wheel route on us. Um, got a guy out of position. So comes down to discipline. I told the players, you know, discipline leads to focus, and focus leads to success. So when you're undisciplined, um, we're gonna get that straightened out. NDSU is it? Do you have to kind of pick your poison? What you want to try to stop? Do you have to try to stop the run, and then that leads to big pass plays? Or can you explain how that works? Yeah, I don't think you pick your poison. I think you call defense that executes uh, to be able to stop the run in the pass if you execute it correctly. I think they did a great job with the run. And then when you're man to man, you have to keep your eye on your man. You don't overcommit yourself to the run. Next thing you know, guy get on top of you or past you. So um, you can't pick your poison. You got to play and execute the defense that's called. And we go into every game stopping the run and stay on top of receivers. I think we did a nice job in the beginning stopping the run. To stay on top of receivers. There's not much room to work, it seemed like, in the backfield of your offense with the pressure they had up yeah, they, You know, you're playing a great defensive line like that, you know. Uh, their defensive line's stellar, and then uh, you add the blitz element to it. Uh, he was under heavy duress there, especially in the first half, and then even more in the second half, they pinned ears and kept coming back after us. So, you still got to pick it up, you got to block it, you got to protect it. When, it's, when there's some of the basics that's not being corrected, whether it's uh, fielding a kick uh, correctly or uh, um, just the eye discipline like you touched on, how, how, did, how disappointing is that to you and how frustrating is that to the other? I hope it's really frustrating to the guys, starting with that part. Um, it's, I told the locker room it's very disappointing. You know, that's, it comes right back to discipline and focus. You take your eyes off the ball, the ball falls on the ground, you get the ball and you fair catch it. You get the ball on the three and not where your 25 yard line. We use 22 yards there. So it's extremely disappointing. And that's a, a lack of focus, quite frankly. You know, it happened on two kickoffs. Uh, punt game was fine. Punt return was fine. Did a nice job returning punts today. But that's, that's very, very uh, concerning with their focus and discipline because they're good football players. But we're only good football players if we do everything right. We're at that stage where. We're not in North Dakota State where we can't make a bunch of mistakes and make up for it. We've got to play perfect. Four weeks. You start four and two, and you lose the last four weeks. Um, yeah, we just take each week, each week. Uh, and, you know, the thing, the other thing that's completely uh, distraught is our Tuesday and Wednesday practice is probably the best of the year. You know, Thursday we got hit with the elements, and then Friday morning we had a really good crisp practice like we always do. So that's what's disappointing. They put the work in, they put the video time in, and then they come out and perform like this was disappointing. How important is it for you guys to go in and end on the right note for not only the program going forward and, and or sending the seniors out on the right way? Well, I mean, that, there, there's layers to that onion on your question now because, you know, at the end of the day, everybody sees the scoreboard. I see all the big steps we're making in the program. And it's not showing up on the scoreboard. That's the disappointing part. Because I think we're good enough, especially in a couple of those games, that the score should have been different on the scoreboard. But there's a lot of things that could happen really well in our football program. Now what we got to do is correct and discipline, correct our focus, and take care of all the little things that so it does show up on the scoreboard. What kind of steps are those? Is that discipline and doing everything right yourselves? Or what's what's the steps you've seen? What do you mean discipline? I mean, you, you said that you've seen the steps that aren't showing up on a scoreboard. What are those steps that you're seeing? Seeing guys studying video, 
they never used to be around there on Monday, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays watching video. Now they're there watching their video, they're preparing, they're in their game plans, they're in their tests, they're, they're asking coaches a lot more questions, they're being more attentive in the meetings, our practices are crisper, they're asking better questions. So all those little things that was never there before is happening. The D-line was just in our face a lot. The quarterback, he didn't have time for him. The run game, I thought they was getting a push for me. So, um, I mean, it was hard. <clears throat> we, you know, we, I felt like we were doing a pretty good job of stopping their base stuff. Um, and then they just, you know, played a, played a few uh, games with us uh, and made coverage with our eyes. And, you know, it just, it just got down to, you know, guys not looking where they were supposed to look. I was, I was part of that. Um, and that leads to big plays. So, you, know, you want to be a good team like that, that can't happen. And just how frustrating when it mean, happened. I know a couple of those play action plays just happened a few times where eyes were coming off, leaving guys wide open. How frustrating is it to see that happen multiple times? I mean, it's frustrating, especially since I know that you know, you know, we we, we practice that in practice and we we do it right throughout the week. And um, you know, it didn't it didn't transfer to the game today. And uh, yeah, that's frustrating. Is that a case of trying to have to stop their run, you know, choosing one or the other? Is that what these? Guys open I mean, yeah, I mean, they do. I mean, it's they're doing this against everybody. Obviously, they, they uh, they're a great team. Uh, when you're able to run the ball that effectively, it allows defenses to you know focus on that, and then you know they can they can slip guys past us occasionally. So, yeah, that I feel I feel like a lot of teams struggle with that with this team, and obviously we did today as well. I felt like everyone was focused, everyone was ready to go. You know, it's like he said when you get in there. It, Got to, you got to narrow that focus even more. So um, maybe we didn't take that step right there, but I didn't, I didn't feel like guys were focused on the game. Yeah, those first those first few in the first quarter were big for them because we got them third down like we're supposed to, ready to get off the field, and we just didn't make the plays to get off the field. So um, that keeps drives going, and obviously that led to a bunch of their big scores. So um, we just had to make adjustments and try to get off the field. I mean, it just comes down to we got to get off the field. So. The third downs have uh, have been kind of a thing the last uh, few games. I'm curious, how do you guys go about in weeks trying to correct uh, that kind of problem? Um, you know, it's we we look at what teams like to do in those situations, and then we you know make play calls accordingly, uh, and then guys got to make plays. So I mean, it's it's it's, it's with the coaches calling the plays, and then it's with us executing the play call. It's been a long ride. It's been a good ride, and. You know, I've, I've enjoyed my time here at Foster, that's for sure. Yeah, and you've, you've, you've been the one kind of throughout the season, uh, before the season, just talking about the growth you've seen in the program. And uh, I know these last four weeks haven't been uh, the way you guys hoped it would and what it kind of looked like at the beginning of the season. Just Are you still seeing those changes being made? Uh, I mean, yeah, the changes have been made. I mean, the, the, the changes have happened, and the growth has happened. Um, you know, we play in the toughest conferences in this uh, – this level, and you got to be ready to come and play and win each week. And when you don't do that, you know you can go. Teams go on spurts like this where you, know, you go a few weeks without winning a ball game. So the, gr the growth has happened, and the growth will happen. You know, obviously this is this is my last season, so I'm not going to be able to see it completely. You know, swing the edge, but but I'm excited for it. Let's go one more question.